Hi, everybody. Michelle here. I have a special guest, Angela Dumas. She's a client of mine, and I'm also a client of hers. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, well, I'll briefly talk about that um, because I think it's um, part of what we're going to discuss today. And we're going to talk about regulating emotions and the nervous system and how many things um, play into that and how our relationship and the things that we do um, have helped each other and we believe can help humanity, quite frankly. So <laughs> hi, Angela. Hello. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Um, so I'll start with, you know, we met, um, I think it was about three and a half years ago, um, four, that's right. Four and a half years ago. Over, yeah. And I'll never forget that moment we first talked because, um, Angela was very ill, um, not well, and she felt hopeless, um, having struggled, you know, with Lyme and other issues. She kind of felt like this might be her last you know, we, we go to so many people and then you get to a point where you're just like, I'm going to give up. And that's the, that's how she came to me. So the beginning was kind of, I'd say it was a little rocky, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought I was going to die. I mean, I was dying. I mean, mm -hmm. I was, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, in the beginning, it was tough because her hair patterns had her in a state of stress. Um, so we knew that the mineral balancing and the diet was going to calm those stress patterns down. And I probably took about, you give me your perspective, but I think it took about a year, less than a year to switch out of the faster oxidation to a slower and start to calm down. Is that how you feel too? That may be on paper, but <laughs> it's only been about the last year maybe mm -hmm. less I really noticed it now I know that there were pe time periods where it was smoother mm -hmm. um but I was so sick and I was so at the my I was literally in the death tunnel so I'm it, it, I I'm pretty sure on paper you could see that <clears throat> excuse me but this body had been sick for so long um it just, it took a long time to feel decent. Yeah, I would have, I would have little spurts of times where I was like, wow, mm -hmm. this is okay. And then it's, that would kind of dip me back in, mm -hmm. but uh, I persevered and you were there coaching me all, all along the way, helping me really, you know, you really were like a rudder for me and still are. Um, and you, you know, I was writing her 10 pages a day, writing you 10 pages a day right uh -huh. because i didn't really have anyone else to talk to there was nobody else that understood this to the degree and i was just trying to be feel like i, I could make it that was in the very beginning mm -hmm. but it, it, i went through a lot of detoxing um releasing stuff through the body mm -hmm. um which is now has gotten so much better but for me the big turnaround i think has been at the 4 year mark which was yeah. earlier this year where it was really mm -hmm. evident that something has changed. And all along you said, you're coming alive, da, da, da. Like you could see that the changes um, and that it might, because I was in such the four lows or whatever for so long, it might take me a little while to really experience it in, in life. And I've, I've come back to life better than ever. In fact, stronger and more even keeled and more nervous system regulated <laughs> and emotional. Uh -huh more smooth and even. I always talk about that smooth and even thing that literally than I can ever remember in my entire life it has been dramatically different. So whatever was going on underneath and how I felt was um, a huge shift that, you know, because it works so deeply, it takes a little time, at least it did for me. I know that another young man who came in around the same time I did he was very young and he just popped right into it, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm still so grateful for all of it. It it is it's literally changed my life and saved my life actually. Yeah. And and that's the thing too is in the beginning and I've always you know I I share this with my clients is that you'll start to have better days 
And then you go back to your bad days and you're like, oh, is this never ending? I'm never going to get yeah. better. And we spiral. And I did it too. I know that. So I would spiral and go, am I ever going to get out of this fatigue? Am I ever going to feel like a normal person who can go, you know, actually take on more things? Like I couldn't work full time for two and a half, three years. Um, so I understand. And, and that's what I like to, you know, um, reassure people that if you keep doing this, those good days start to increase and the bad days start to decrease. And that's what I saw over this time, the, the 10 page emails, you know, and things like that started to slow down and, and short and, and not be as frantic and not as fearful. And, you know, I saw those shifts. So even though physically you were still struggling with a lot because Lyme is no joke. So there's a, you know, it's, it's very difficult to, um, I, I think that sometimes it could be a lifelong thing, but the days got better. And now you're at a point where you're back doing what you do as a prosperity coach and, and you're at, you have more clients and you're able to do a YouTube channel. And so that's where you're starting to, you know, you're flourishing because your good days are, are now superseding your bad days. Totally. Yeah. And I've been working on um, a couple of things for a little o well, I would say right about a year where I got back into being able to, you know, finish my course creation, all the stuff that I do on my end, which just because it pops up one day doesn't mean that was like easy. It could have taken 10 months to do that thing, but I was able to do it, able to think. Um, and I and go, you helped me with my website, you know, I, yes, did, I did branding of it and it was a year and a half ago. So you were starting to feel better then, you know, making yeah. a shift. Um, that we collaborated together to, because I felt like I was going through a new transformation and wanted to convey that through new branding. Um, yeah. But I wanted to work with somebody who you're very artistic and your website is beautiful and the things that you do are beautiful. And then we work well together that we were able to do this in such a short amount. <laughs> really quick yeah we for some reason when you and I get together our frequency or whatever it is the fractal mm -hmm. line thing it just is like we inspire each other and it just goes click 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 and and within not long at all I don't even know I think we figured out your main brand um spread or whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it uh, on your uh website within I don't think it took us an hour yeah, I was just going to say we were on the phone maybe an hour and a half and between what I was texting you and I was looking on Pinterest, like we came up with the colors and and every, the, everything like so quickly, um, you know, and I knew working with somebody else doing my branding, how important it is that the person really understands the kind of yep. message and what you're trying to, you know, achieve. So you're very clear too. You're very clear. And I can, you know, we're both really intuitive. So we can kind of connect on that level of, I can kind of taste what people want. I don't know how to explain that in words other than it is like a very particular, like I'm very detail oriented. So taste is like, like a chef, right? And so when you said some words, you show me some pictures, I'm like, I know exactly what we're going to do. Boom, boom, boom. And then you're just like, yes, more of that. And we continued and boom, I think we had it. And then we just fine tune things within that hour and a half. But yeah. then there was some other stuff we added later, but it was right. amazing. Yeah. And then anything we do for some reason, when it comes to our either working together in either direction, you get it, I get it, we get it, boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why we're coming together today because um, Angela has been coaching me the past few months as I've been going through some major transitions in my life and it's another shedding of the old. And yeah. so when we shed the old and we move into the new, there's different things that happen and they're not always easy and, and, you know, they're difficult and they can almost seem like things are falling apart. Um, but they're actually have to fall away in order to move forward. So, you know, I've just had a series of events happen and it was just perfect timing that we started collaborating here and helping me shift through them. And I, I think it's, it's really important when you work with somebody 
that you have a connection with them. Like you can go seek out the best person. They've got the biggest website. They got the biggest following. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a connection with them, I don't think that they can help you. Like you really need to be connected because that's how you can um, really the flow and the energy that comes between the connection of two people working together. The, it, it's much more effective. Yeah. And also I've been doing this a really long time and I have um, hung out or done work with seriously um, let's, let's say high people, people that are, have integrity, um, people who are very serious um, in their work and maybe even enlightened, truly enlightened, which they never say they are, but you can start telling <clears throat> and a lot of people out there, and I'm not trying to disparage anybody, but a lot of people with the big websites, what I see is there's a lot of people that are kind of hidden in the background that are really excellent. They've always been kind of mm, hiding. They don't have that thing that says, I need to be out there. There's always going to be good and whatever. And if you really connect with, with yourself and you're regulated within yourself, you're going to find the right person for you. You really will. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the main point of it is, you know, when you're aligned, that becomes that tuning fork and you kind of synchronize with that and you will be shown the direction and mm -hmm. when I, I didn't even remember, I was so sick. I didn't even remember that Michelle, that I had signed up to talk to Michelle. <laughs> I had no clue when she called me who she was or what. I mean, I just had, I didn't have much capacity at that time. And for some reason I had done a couple of other interviews. And um, this was, I knew immediately by how you hung in there with me when I was in my confusion state. Who are you? What is this about? I mean, I remember that. And then it was like, huh, I, I really could hear the sound and resonate it with just your way of being. And that's that's how I knew I could feel it in my in my gut and taste it, which is my cognition. But anyway, um, that's what your program does too, like doing this um eating this program correctly it's it's a lifestyle choice really is what it is but it really helps to ground you um balances uh, whatever some people move things quick through more quickly some more slowly but just know it is working and it is your your body is remembering how to be mineralized how to be settled in itself and for the the whole what we both do in our own ways it's like a container. It's like parentheses, food and eating and lifestyle. And then, you know, this being in prosperity, which is being aligned to yourself, being tuned to your own authority. Right. And that just works together and it gets into your cells. And then you just start walking and stepping forward into your new way of life, which is removing the old stuff just by just by making the commitment itself to this suddenly you feel like wow i actually have support you know and you're excellent at support and i'm really picky about who i work with i i've worked with a lot of people and some of them are mm -mm, but you are excellent you've been my choice in fact any of my clients that i recommend this to which is as many mm -hmm. as i can i send them your way Yes, yes. You've sent me a lot of people and I love your tribe. So we've become one tribe together. To yeah. <laughs> yeah. And well, at the end of this video, we're, there's going to be a freebie that you'll be able to get a link sure. um, that Angela has for you. Um, so stay, you know, tuned through the video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, so, you know, part of this process, like we talked about is, you know, getting dialing in on a healthy diet, um, you know, with really um, vegetables, cooked vegetables, uh, quality organic meats, um, eating according to your oxidation, you know, you don't want to be a fast oxidizer and not have enough fat and you don't want to be a slow oxidizer and have too much fat. You know, these are little 
things that you don't realize um, cause uh, issues with the digestion and such. And then the mineral balancing. So you want to be taking supplements. You don't want to just be taking, oh, this supplement sounds great. And then you throw your mineral pattern off balance. And then there's the aspect of once you're doing all of that, you start to see things differently, you know, because you're, you're detoxing and we hold trauma and we hold, um, it's like a veil of not being able to see because the, you know, pineal gland is calcified. So once these things start to shed and release, you see things differently. So then you start going, well, do I really need this person in my life? Is this job really for me? Maybe I should be doing, you start to see things differently and make these changes. You know, some of them aren't easy because people have a lot of things that they're dealing with, but it eventually starts to happen if you're committed and you stick with it. Yeah. I remember um, in my relationship with my husband, um, we were at a very low point in, in that. And one of the things you said was it takes energy um, to be loving and kind and whatever, and that we would probably retrace or go through the trauma of our own relationships, a relationship and others. Mm -hmm. And our relationship, plus all the inner work that I have done for so many years, um, it has really become an excellent relationship. Mm -hmm. We we still think the way we think and which is, you know, men, women don't always think the same, right? <laughs> uh, we don't agree on everything, but we um, pop out of any kind of ickiness very quickly and we just move on. Boom, it's done. Boom, it's done. Um, that has been something I've been practicing for a long time anyway. And um, we've been riding each other's waves, so to speak, huh. and we help each other detox and trauma de-traumatize and retrace um, so we have a pretty balanced relationship now with yeah all the so they're both doing the program which is great yeah. and I that's another thing I'm glad that you brought it up but I've seen your relationship evolve you know mm -hmm. and that doesn't you know like for instance mine didn't you know mine ended but he wasn't doing the program Right. wanting to do those things. And, you know, I believe that we, as humans, we have a choice and we can live our life any way we want. So I need to let go because it's not, if something's not in line anymore or, you know, because we shift and we grow and we can either grow together or grow apart. So, you know, for me, it didn't work out, but for you guys, because you're both committed to doing this, and you've been together a long time, long time, you know, and open to, you know, getting some outside, you know, help you've been able to shift in your relationship. And, and I think that's beautiful. <laughs> it really is because when you met us, that was the end. And then we're like, mm -mm. and uh, he said, you know, the only reason I did this because you just cooked it and stuck it in front of me. And he would only, he started out by eating like two tablespoons because he couldn't get it down for him. And now he has figured out his own way. He eats the full banana. It took him, I'm going to say about almost a year to be able to fully eat as much as we eat a lot. We're doing probably six or seven cups a day. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know that um, not everybody eats that much. And we're doing the 12 to 15 vegetables per per serving. Mm -hmm. So uh, we really stick to it. We're very, very, we've got a whole system down. In fact, he's chopping vegetables right now. <laughs> well, usually when we're on a video, I can hear him chopping vegetables in the background, which I think is wonderful. I love, I love the sound of him doing that. Yeah, even with the door closed, but well, this time I really have the door closed. But in any event, yes. And, you know, your relationships change anytime we start aligning to ourselves because 
again, when you make a courageous commitment, you're you're saying, I'm not even sure what, exactly what I'm doing, but for some reason, I know I have to do this. So everything kind of clicks into place. And when that happens, the universe, God, whatever your thing is, mm -hmm. it will just come to meet you mm -hmm. in that commitment, right? And so I always talk about everyone, the courageousness it takes, the courage that it takes. And some of us are just very courageous and um, we are able to stay the course. I always knew that this was correct from the moment I talked to you, even though I was like in a blur in my mind. Um, but, uh, and, and it took a little longer for my husband to, he didn't grow up on vegetables. That wasn't his thing. But now he's figured out how to eat them and he, he, he doesn't skimp and he really follows it. So I'm, I'm really pleased. Um, yeah. That's... Um, hold on a second. I hate to do this in the middle of a video, but my dog. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> the cutest little dog. I'm just going to kind of say a few things here, Michelle. I think you can hear me. I'm just going to talk about regulating the nervous system. There are a number of ways that that can happen. Of course, when we're really, really clearly committed and eating correctly to our body, our metabolism, our metabolism is going to shift. It's going to automatically happen. And mm -hmm. that's part of that whole regulation. Go ahead. I was just kind of saying something about, about that. that. My dog one did a, I need a doggy door, but that'll happen later. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, some of those, you know, as you're shifting through those things, then you start to look at yourself more and look at, you know, things around you. And I knew that I still, you know, had some things that I needed to work through. And mm -hmm. so I, you know, I reached out and <laughs> said, you know, I think I'm ready to work with you. And that's what we, we started, what, three months ago, which was mm -hmm. great timing. It, actually, it may have been before that, because when my dog was attacked when we were attacked we were working together so it's been about four months yeah yeah um yeah. so you helped me sh you know work through that trauma and then the move and then I went through a divorce or no I bought the house or went through a divorce all that stuff and then moved and so here I am but you did four really really fat I mean that was your life yeah. And the trauma was very intense about the dog. Mm -hmm. um, and you pop through that extremely quickly. I, I mean, I, I'm, I really think that because you are so, I'm going to use the word cleaned up, clean from the vegetables, that it's easy when you're on them to start shifting into the alignment, despite traumas or what have you, they move faster. The body already knows how to release at a cellular level. So when you're starting to make choices, discerning um, decisions right in the moment of the work or what have you, it's clicking in, clicking in, clicking in. So, you know, and you're no stranger to doing inner work either. That's not, it's not something that you have been like, I've never done it. But even if you haven't ever done it, and you choose to do it somehow, whether you're watching videos or work with someone, what have you, um, when the commitment to taking care of yourself to that, what I call self-aware care, um, it, with the food, even that alone will really, it kind of amplifies and accelerates your progress. I would say by like 10 times, it is fast. Mm -hmm. Would you, does that make sense? I agree. I agree because of the whole thing that it's cleaning out the toxins and the blockages and the trauma. So you do see things more clearly. And then you, you know, you start to seek out the help. If you didn't, if you didn't do it before, you're going to be more open to doing the spiritual work. 
um, for me, I've done the spiritual work here and, you know, like I've had many, I call them many awakenings. You know, I had one in my twenties, I read the Celestine prophecy and, um, you know, all these different books, the road less traveled. And I also felt like it was a road less traveled. And when you're young and I've had young clients and I, I let them know, I'm like, you're going to start to feel better and you're going to have this temptation to go back into the world because the world is, you know, it's very enticing <laughs> and, you know, it's very flashy and it pulls us in. Or if we have friendships, relationships that are not doing the work they can pull us in, you know, they say that you become the five people you hang around. So if you can't find a lot of people that are, that are doing the health, spiritual, whatever aspect, it's very easy to get sucked back in. And so that's what would happen is like, I would have these awakenings and then I get pulled back into the world and through my relationships and stuff, then I'd have another awakening, you know, and then finally um, you start to go, wait a minute, I see a pattern here. <laughs> and the common denominator is me you know what am I going to do different this time <laughs> <laughs> yeah those patterns and they're so sneaky like um as you and I have discovered there's things that are hiding in the background that you don't even realize are still perpetuating mm -hmm. the cycles right and I talk a lot about perpetuating cycles and um especially if you're young it it, it is easy to get pulled back in and if you stick with it um, there may be a time later on, say, some people fall off things, you know, whether it's doing their work. I used to work with quite a few young people when they were really, really sick with Lyme and things like that. Um, and they get better and then they would be done. But then they mm -hmm. come back and say, huh, I kind of miss this being in the flow, being, you know, smooth. I, I thought that's what I was doing when I was, you know, going to clubs and clubbing all night and partying and getting like, and then, and then I was like, wait a minute, I got sick again. <laughs> yeah. And look, you, it's always about balance. Yeah. It, nobody's telling anyone here to say you can't be in the world. No mm -hmm. one's saying that. It's just that you end up really getting clarity and being able to make wise decisions for your body, for your mm -hmm. being, for your type, which is a, different conversation but and boundaries get easier I'm gonna go get my dog over it. no problem no problem so what I was saying a little while ago about the nervous system regulation there's also breathing methods um that are extremely important where you can actually regulate your own emotions in the moment but you do have to learn how to <laughs> to recognize your patterns and when you're in it but that's that takes just a little guidance um, and a little a little um, commitment on your point to just be uh, on your part to be willing to take a look. And if you're listening here with Michelle, you're probably already seeing these types of things, right? Go, girl. Yeah, you're already probably, you know, again, if you're working with Michelle, you're you've made a commitment to yourself. So the breathing, there's all kinds of breathing work. I mean, maybe someday we can get on and do like a breath work session, a short one or something like that, or some other stuff. But um, just notice your breath. If you take anything away from just this one little mini part of a conversation, notice how you're breathing. Are you breathing through your mouth or your nose? Are your breaths short and from up here? Or are they long and extended mm -hmm. and slow and soft? Is it really helpful, especially if you're not feeling well, if you're detoxing, it helps the detoxification system go through smoother and it puts you in a position of being in control of your breath. Plus it creates nitric oxide, which is a natural process with your mouth closed when you breathe. Um, there are other variations of that too, but when you do this, you strengthen your immune system and things in your metabolism start aligning your ph gets corrected so that's maybe a whole nother time but that's just a little thing and people who are stressed have shallow breath so um that's one of the first things they mentioned you know and in, in healing adrenals and stuff like that is to watch your breath because when we're stressed and we have a lot of anxiety everything's right in here it's between the chest and the head 
and it it's you know we're overthinking and then it's causing anxiety you know a lot of people struggle with panic attacks and 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 tight chest pain and stuff because they're not grounded they're not breathing deeply they're not expressing their emotions and a feeling we can generate a feeling by our thoughts it's okay to feel it's staying in it and entertaining it for long periods of time that becomes our personality. And Dr. Joe just <laughs> talks about this, like it literally becomes your personality and Person. that's who I am. Um, but it's not, it, it really, if I go back to who I was as a teenager and who I am now, they're completely two different people. So <laughs> we like completely two different people. Like if I meet people today, they think I was like a cheerleader in high school or something. And I was totally like this, you know, angry stoner. <laughs> yes. We evolve, you know, we can choose to evolve or we can choose not to evolve. It's really your choice. I personally think it's more painful to stay stuck. I rather go through the pain of becoming unstuck and having to look at myself and having to confront my pride, ego, all those things, cry, you know, see the shame, then be stuck in it. I'd rather work through it. Yeah. Because the other side's way better. <laughs> yeah, it's way better. The thing is, most of us are not taught that we have, that there are tools that exist that actually can help you face difficulties or the emotions in a way that's digestible and not that hard it's people don't realize that you know we are not the persona that makes up um this personality or persona that is made up from these emotions the emotions are not meant to be stuck in there but most of us don't really know how to let them go i've worked with so many people that say oh i i let go all the time and i'm like Let's see if we really do this. And when you do it, you immediately or very shortly within a short period of time, you can start feeling lighter, more courageous in a way that's where things are easier. You feel more balanced, um, happier and peaceful. And when you get into acceptance, most of us are desperately trying so hard to not feel, to avoid, to push it down, suppress, repress run away from it, escape all these things. And again, when as you get balanced in the development program, um, that all will work itself through and you will start to feel more grounded. And that means you're going to, like you said earlier, Michelle, you're going to start looking for things that continue to support that and deepen into it a little bit. It may depend upon your personality, but this is typically... You know, the road less traveled is this, and more and more people are doing it because there is an awakening kind of happening right now. People are coming, starting to realize things. There's still a lot of people who are not, but um, there's more access to this kind of wisdom and knowledge that is available now, you know. Yeah, going through the dark night of the soul is is very, it looks chaotic and and you depression anxiety you know all these things yeah. because you're it's literally like the death facing looking at yourself the, and death of the ego so it, the process we're actually seeing humanity go through this process so it you know there's more there you can't even like say hey you took my parking spot you know people are like pulling out guns, you know, it's just because we're being called to all shift this way. And yeah. so it seems really, um, it seems really bad right now, but in another way, I think it's good because I see what's happening. So I understand it, but there's some days the human in me is like, oh my gosh. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. hard because we're barraged with all this information of the next thing, the bad thing, the this thing, all these things that are happening to this is the worst ever in the world. The world is blah, blah, blah. So you could you can take that in if you want to. And um, I listen to it. I heed some things, but it's it's staying out of the fear. And how do you stay out of the fear? You can't you, you can't do it by escaping. 
watch binge watching stuff or overeating or shopping or whatever it is that people do, right? Mm -hmm. But we we are literally housed with the capacity for total ease, acceptance, and peace. But it is we've been so used to practicing the fear mongering and all that stuff. That's gonna always happen out there because our mind is that pro is projecting this stuff anyway. That's how the mind actually is set up. So in in other words, if you can see it for what it is and be an observer, right? And kind of watch more and breathe, slow your breathing down. Use the belly to breathe. And just sit back and watch without being involved. Like involved would mean, you know, oh my God, that's so terrible. I hate this person and all the divisiveness that is right. happening. You know, that is being involved. And again, you you can have your opinions. Your persona is going to come out and just stick with this thing that you're doing here because it will shift. It's actually meant to ground you with the minerals that are um, in the vegetables themselves. That is such a huge thing and it releases stuff. So over time, you can sit back sitting into yourself more, right? That's what it's really about. How can I sit in here and take a look and not be bothered, be unshakable, imperturbable, like things just don't bother me anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Stay out of fear. And again, when you're detoxing, sometimes fear does come. A lot mm -hmm. of fear for people, right? But that fear is to, all of those emotions are meant to just free up and let go of it. Well, it's just like, we, you know, we were talking about the shift of the bad unhealthy days, you know, where you feel really bad and then your good days start to increase. It's the same thing with emotional regulation and your nervous system. Like I can tell now I'm not a morning person, but there's been a few mornings recently. Like I literally get up and I'm like singing to the dogs. I'm like, good morning. That's it. And I'm <laughs> like, who is this person? But you know, I feel so light I feel free. I feel like the decisions that I've made as painful as it was to go through them. And I'm so grateful for all of those experiences and people. You know, I, I think it's really important that we have gratitude because everything and everybody is a spiritual teacher in my eyes. It's all spiritual teaching. So I'm grateful for those experiences. So now, you know, things are in a, a light more calm. I'm sleeping well. And so what's mm -hmm. happening is I'm waking up because like I've, you know, like you mentioned that I've said before, it takes energy to be kind and loving. So now I'm gaining energy and the adrenal glands are healing. I'm feeling like I, I was mm -hmm. shopping and I wanted to buy a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. Like I'm already thinking about Christmas. Like I'm <laughs> like, who is this person? It's October. Like I'm ready to like decorate my house. And that's because there's so much freedom going on now because of all these other things that have been in the way um, that I was able to let go. And so now there's space, there's space to allow for the things that, and people that are more in alignment. That space is so important because, you know, we feel like we're in this body and um, we kind of don't have more space in this body but you know from your own work and the work we've done together that it, space is really everywhere but we are we're not aware of it because of the thoughts that we have that limit us and you know that open openness and that energy the energy flows in openness it also flows the stuckness trying to unblock it but doing that is not helping right you gotta have to be like Okay, how can I just be with this? And you have really um, made some very wise decisions that were very clear. You're totally in line with, and you know this from your own wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. And you do have that space and you're ready to allow for all the ways that prosperity comes to you. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're living it, you're demonstrating. It's being demonstrated in your life all around you, right? Mm -hmm. So it's quite beautiful yeah. to watch.
So I think this is pretty much what we wanted to talk about today. It's, you know, it's not an easy road, you know, and it's okay if you're not totally there, you know, it's okay if it takes a while, you know, um, it's just, I, it's hard to understand this, but we are perfect where we're at because that moment later will make sense. You know, it doesn't always make sense when we're in it. You know, I didn't think that being attacked by that dog and watching one of my babies suffer and have to go through that was it going to propel me into this place, pushing me into buying this home and being here, you know, for some reason that had it to ha that had to happen, but in it, we don't see it. And then later we're like, oh, I, I see why this needed to happen, you know. And everything is really here for a reason. No matter how bad it appears, everything is an ally. It gives us an opportunity in every moment to make a new choice, mm -hmm. either freedom or the old way. Do you want to practice freedom or do you want to practice the old habits and, and conditioned stuff, that junk? <clears throat> you can, you know, people get to, we all get to pick. Like you said, we can make a decision. We get to choose our trajectory in life. Um, and again, I'm all about practicing freedom. And mm -hmm. we are so used to practicing what we've been taught or what we think we think we think we know about ourselves. That persona is really a very tiny part of who we really are. It's 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 really just like mm, confetti. And the truth of who we are is in the subconscious. But um it gets it gets seen as you kind of clear your body clean your thoughts get out of your own way right you've heard that you know get out of your own way but it's the practicing of freedom and eating this way is part of that because you're grounding your body in the food you've made a strong discerning choice um, and all the goodness that comes with that alignment it starts magnetizing to you mm -hmm. and then you can sit back more and more and more so i'm so happy we had a chance to do this it's fun Think we same do here it so fun, how can whatever. people get a hold of you um well website. Uh, my website is right now a page of of uh I don't think they're ready for that yet. That's a sales page. My website is not complete, but this, there is a sales page, Fearless Abundance. But I don't, I wouldn't start us off there. Uh, I'm still working on it, <laughs> the rest of the website. Uh, but I do have a free, um, it is a free clarity guide. It's like 19 pages, of really robust, um, fun little energetic exercises that come with audios. Um, you get a handful of emails to kind of support you a little bit and a little prize inside. And it's called the three steps to break free from the perpetual money roller coaster. And the reason I use money is because that's often where our stuff shows up. And that could mean whether you have a lot of money or don't have a lot of money or somewhere in between the, the, the releasing the way to let go some of these things will help you to stay right in the now, which allows you to be exactly where you're meant to be. You're there anyway. So um, there are three audios, I believe. Yes, there are three. And you get some universal principles, things to help you get more aligned to yourself. And it works perfectly with what Michelle, you're doing with Michelle too. So um, that is, uh, we'll, put the, we'll put the link below. You can grab it. It, uh, and um, it'll help you gain some clarity. And uh, if you want to contact me, it's hello at AngelaDumas.com. And I know you're seeing Sahaja here. We'll put it down below. Because yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> for another thing that I use. Uh, it's like my spiritual name. But in any event, um, yeah, it was so fun to talk to you all. It was oh, lovely to yeah. you, Michelle. You know, we're, we really developed an, a really lovely relationship. Very balanced. Mm. I appreciate you being here with me today and of course our relationship in general, but also to uh, just be able to talk to everybody today and, and share what we've learned from each other 
and yeah. how we can grow um, as individuals. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Such a pleasure. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye.